it's Wednesday, um, December 8th, 2021. I took out the book, Daniel Steele, Moral Compass. Um, I'm trying to read it, except the problem that I have with reading, um, sometimes the language, <clears throat> um, is not of my height or depth, um, like the legal ease, um, Sometimes um, there are specific action or motion words that are not um, displaying correctly in the matrix or in the daily visual world, the real world I'm living in. Um, this particular book I read until Lewis came up. Maybe I got to page three. And the problem is, is that my moral compass is not working cognitively with what it says. I already know. It says, it was the day after Labor Day, one of those perfect golden September mornings in Massachusetts. Already I've got a problem. As the students of St. Ambrose Preparatory School began to arrive, the school was over 120 years old, blah, blah, blah. Many illustrious men and attended St. Ambrose and gone on to make their marks on the world. Then it goes on uh, to say something. It has to do with who had either recently moved to the East Coast or had some valid reason to want to change schools as a senior and not graduate with the class they'd gone through high school with until then. Each of the female applicants had been carefully vetted to make sure she was up to the standard morale and academic uh, and academically of St. Ambrose. Alexa, what is the definition of Ambrose? The name Ambrose means immortal. Um, it said two dorms had been built to accommodate this new, f the new female students. Um, there's some other pieces in here. It does mention real world. It says other said, um, other said it would make the students better rounded, learning to live and work, collaborate, operate, and compete with members of the opposite sex, which was after all more representative of the real world, world they would be entering in college and thereafter. Actually, that is after two world wars. That's where you all pitched my arrival, which is a problem. I didn't agree to this. And every day that I've been here, it's gotten worse and more derelict. Um, it says something about most of its competitors. I'm not competitive. I had a very special marriage. I was fine with being educated however he wanted me to be educated. And I was fine with just being by his side and participating in any, like, any way that he needed me to. More than that, I had very little expectation. That's where the adventure was. Instead, I got this derelict, disgusting American arrival into a society that wanted everything co-ed. Not just female and male in the same learning institution, but also like a multinational, no longer homogeneous society. This is not something I agree to. I don't know how Lewis arrived. Perhaps he was not instructed properly after the last war. Not quite sure. But on this land, there's fiscal and fiduciary responsibility in order to keep up with outside fiscal and fiduciary responsibility. And that's a homogeneous endeavor. So I don't understand why all of the Ilbagat are now in some supersedent category and running the show. How did that happen? Did somebody not advise or tell the truth 
to like the gods of planetary importance. I don't have a word for them. The criminals of everywhere that are around me don't exactly speak of and construct where I should be directing my speech to in free speech of some sort where I have value I just don't know exactly where or how to capitalize on it since it seems like everybody else is making money and making opportunity and I'm in some really scary broken medical equipment being the environment and the climate in an ozone I never wanted to spend a day in or enter in. Um, so co-ed looks like a problem on multifaceted. It's no longer homogeneous, which causes spirituality issues, and it's no longer um, copacetically male-dominated one understanding who then help um, or set up whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. I was fine with just tagging along. If I understood, I understood. If I didn't, I didn't. But um, there's something about a Lawrence Gray in here. Um, then it, there's something about... Oh, and then it says something about a brilliant young African woman, assistant headmaster of a rival prep school, Harvard-educated Nicole Smith. Now, here's the interesting thing. I applied to Harvard Harvard uh, in Massachusetts. I got into Northeastern. I got into Boston University. And I got denied from Harvard in 1996. I didn't actually go to Boston, although I was really looking forward to it. Something happened here, and the whole dial changed with Lou, Lynn, and their finances, um, and some local um, whatever that just got in the way, and then things totally changed, and I have no idea how. Um, and then it Instead, I went to Long Island University, which was just a quiet place away from Linda and Lou. It was a, more like a convent, as far as I'm concerned. I didn't partake, like Gary, um, whatever his name was, Gorski, I didn't partake in um, school, after school activities like drinking and socializing. I went to class home, to class home, just happy to be away from Lynn and Lou. Um, and then there's something about a shepherd Watts. Um, there was some girl, Sarah, I was introduced to. She worked at something called a scores stripper club. No idea what that was. Uh, married some really ugly man, had a baby, really did not like her, whatever, but he had a lot of money. Um, thought that I would give a shit for some reason. Um, I mean, like, these are all the things you humans come up to me with in, like, really? I mean, I would have been okay if I had never been through this washing machine, honestly. Um... And then there was enter some really handsome guy named Chris who really had a thing for Sarah. Well, I'm like, okay, so go for Sarah. I had a thing for Chris, but Chris had a thing for Sarah. So I was like, whatever. Bye. I mean, I don't know what the humans exactly are expecting, but like, it's three heads of silver coin. That is the main thing to defend. And, the, and with visual interpretation, that should be clear as day. And I don't see any of that acting out properly in the local New York area. That's what scares me the most. 
because what's coming through television and on radio seems to be some backwards society like event and I'm not quite sure who's funding it and who's allowing it to continue but it very much concerns me star 1978 star 8378 Nicole Cataruza so I'm not reading this whole book because I've got like two or three pages in I've seen enough visual cues to know that this is dangerous this might tell a story and that's the woman. This might tell a story, it's just not mine. Or it's just not the one that I'm in agreement with at the moment. It doesn't mean that it might not become a tool, a useful tool in the future, however. So Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken in its Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. It will be on the Queen's Public Library that I took it out and when I returned it. So this way, on electronic leashing system, they have the answers since it's a ridiculous system. Since I usually go with whatever it is that's already on some itinerary that some people seem to have and work off of, and I don't even have a copy of.